Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing um, shirts. And I know I've done this already on my channel, but today we're going to try out a different type of vinyl. So I did order these um, HTVs from Bright Star Crafters. I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six. Six little um, sheets and I was able to pick out the background and everything for like you create your own little thing like the background and the image like what you want for your background so I did these I mean obviously they come like that but I picked this one for like Christmas this one also I thought it was so cute which I think I'm going to be using this one today either this one or this one and I'm going to also use this one I'm going to do a regular shirt not seasonal just regular with using this one because I like the pattern so much on these, this you do not have to mirror. This is a little different. I haven't seen a lot of people uh, with videos on it, so I wanted to give it a try myself and see. This actually popped up on my newsfeed. That's how I saw them, and I figured I'd give it a try. So again, Bright Star Crafters, these, um, these here. And then this one is a vlog from the previous video. I did tell you guys I bought my vlog through a local vendor. I did get a link for you guys so I will post that down in the description below also along with this and everything that I use today. Um, like I said this one does not have to be mirrored. This one will have to be mirrored. I'm going to do a fall one using the flock and then I'm going to do a Christmas one. I just need to decide which one I want <laughs> and then I'm going to use this one for my regular one. So I have two shirts, long sleeve, Bella canvas 100% cotton and then I also have the sweater that I'm going to be putting the flock on. It's um, Gildan 100% cotton. So let's go ahead and jump on design space so I can show you guys the images I've chosen for these shirts and also again everything's from Etsy so I will post the link in the description down below okay. Alright guys so we are on design space and as you can see I already have my little images that I'm going to do. So this one's going to be a Christmas one. This one's going to be a fall. And this one's just gonna be a regular one that I wanna do with that rainbow one. So I downloaded these from Etsy and let me show you guys how to upload it. So I went to upload image, upload here and then upload image. Then we're gonna hit browse. And as you can see, I have all mine here already and fall vibes is somewhere here too. Um, but as you can see, I have them here. You would go to whichever one you're gonna choose. So let's say it came in a folder. Here's perfectly imperfect. You're gonna put open. And then I always click complex. Continue. I don't have to do anything because I like it just the way it is. We're gonna hit apply and continue. And I'm gonna save it as a cut image because I want, you know, I want it to be cut out. On this side, if you want it to, like let's say it had some design, it came with a design, let's say a certain pattern you wanted, then you would click print um, cut image if you were gonna use it for something else or or anything like that. But for now, we're gonna save it as a cut image. Now, I'm not gonna save it because I already have it. So I'm gonna click cancel, but as soon as you hit that upload, it'll bring you to this screen and it'll be on there. And then you can select it and you can click add to canvas and it'll upload it to your canvas. So here I have a template that I'm using and I've kind of already sized this down. So this is gonna be a nine, I mean a 6.923 and then a nine, 0.541 as the measurements and then the same here so what I'll do this is supposed to be the back but what I'll do is I'll bring it over here just to kind of see how it fits and the same with this one and I just changed the colors I did the gray because I'm thinking of using the gray as far as this one I haven't sized it so let's you can unlock there and size it however you can go lower you can go smaller and they usually say you know there's like a guide you can follow that'll tell you what size an image should be I just kind of go by what I, how big I want it on my shirt. So nine by eight, pretty much. So what I'll do is I will come to, I will go to my shirt, measure the image on my shirt to see how big it's gonna be on my shirt. So this is a 9.8, okay. So again, like I said, you would just measure, the way I do it is I just measure my, I have my template here and I kind of just go by whatever I feel. I'm gonna lock that because I like the way it looks. And then I go by whatever measurements these these are and then I measure it on my shirt to see if that's good for me or if I need to make it bigger or if I don't like it. This one the same thing. We'll do the same process. It's a six by nine. So let me measure that on my sweater really quick. So that's going to be a six by nine. Yeah, I'm going to leave that like that. I, I think I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there we go. 
that one's fine I'm okay with that and then the mama class I thought this was so cute um, it's a nine by six so I'm gonna do the same process and remember the black they didn't have any medium so I bought the small and I'm gonna measure that one because see so I need to go smaller because it's gonna be way too big on this small shirt so maybe about an eight and a half actually you know what I think uh, a nine is good i'm gonna leave it like that i'm okay with that it, it's not that big it actually fits okay i have them in three different colors because i'm doing three different i'm using three different colors on my htv so let's go ahead i'm gonna do this one last and these two because these don't need to be mirrored but this one does but i believe it'll ask you so we're ready to go ahead and cut very simple you guys again just upload your image i did buy these off of etsy upload the image once you download it after you've bought it. If it's a zip file, you will have to extract it onto your computer and then you can use it. I usually use the PNG files. That I find those, you know, they haven't given me any issues yet. So I like those files better than JPEG. But of course, it just depends on what you're cutting and what the image is. So we are ready to cut. I'm gonna go ahead and click make it. All right, and then we're gonna do it on the mat. So this one here, okay, so this is already set, this one too, I don't need to do anything there. This one, I'm going to go ahead and mirror it, and 10, so I'm going to cut an 8 by 10 sheet off of that block sheet, because it's big, and we're doing it on the mat, okay, big there. Alright, so we're ready to go ahead and cut, and I will go back to the overhead camera so we can um, see the machine do its little magic <laughs> all right so we're back i have a mess here because i was messing with these i'm going to check the settings that i need to set the heat press at i also ordered some heat transfer sheets because remember these are not going to be mirrored we're, it's going to cut right on top and then we're going to peel the vinyl off and then do a transfer sheet on here and then put them on the thing shirts <laughs> but we'll get to that right now so let me get this one open like i said one while this is cutting, I'm going to search, I'm going to look up that setting. Oops. Oh, great. I always do that. <laughs> so the first one, see, and I was already going to miss it. So I'm not using these. The, the ones we're going to be using today is I'm going to be using this one and this one. These two right here. So I'm going to set these aside. We're going to do the mama claws first. So we're going to do this one first. Sure, it's aligned. Okay. It says you don't need to mirror it. And I'm gonna leave this. We don't have to cut that, but that's fine. We're gonna select just regular HTV. And hopefully this turns out right. I'm a little nervous. All right, so this one's done. Let's go ahead and take this one off. And I could see the cut through the back. I don't know if you guys can see that there. But okay, so that one's done. And then for the next one, the flock, I do need to size that down. Okay, so I have my flock. This one will have to be mirrored. And I'm going to flip this one this way, upside down. And so this one we're going to cut as everyday iron-on also. This one's going to be more pressure. I'm going to apply more pressure to this because it is thick. Because it is thick, so we want to make sure it cuts all the way through. Right. And like I said, this one does have to be mirrored. So let's let that cut. 
and then we'll start weeding everything out. All right, so this one's done. Same thing, I'm just gonna peel it off. Oh. And let me put my little clear plastic on this to, save, to protect the stickiness. up let's turn that off all right so i am excited about this i got my mat here hopefully that's big enough if not i have the other one so let's go ahead and weed these out right. so for this one i can see this one pretty clearly so i'm going to cut around my image fall vibes And I hope this cut all the way through. I didn't even check it first before taking it off of the oh, feels so good. Oh. Okay. Now it is a little bit hard to weed. No, I think I messed up. That doesn't look right. It's fine. It scared me a bit. <laughs> There's my heart. So just be careful when you're weeding this because I thought I had torn it, which I thought it had torn, but it didn't. We're good. Ball vibes. Perfect. This came out good. No problems there. Just be careful when you're weeding that. Okay, so this is done. Let's do the next one. And this one, the same thing. I'm going to cut around if I can see it. So this is the one that says perfectly imperfect. So let me cut this one. Can use this for something else and let me cut this one too and then we'll weed this Actually think I would have wanted this bigger so I've got these two cut out so what they said is per their instructions we have to weed the excess off and then we're going to transfer it onto the heat transfer tape so let's go ahead and weed this I'm a little nervous I, I will say I've never we've always done it the, oh it did not cut oh there it is 
never mind. <laughs> just make sure you tuck it down a little bit if it lifts. So I'm gonna do this very carefully. Oh, see. All right, well, this is not fun. I should have put more pressure. Okay, so I wanted to stop real quick and just let y'all know that it is very hard to weed. It comes up. It's really easy to, I mean, once you pull it down, you know, it's really easy, but you have to be very careful that you don't pull it really fast because as you can see, it's a little bit hard. It lifts everything. So just be careful on that. And um, also, Maybe I, you know, when you cut it, you can do, I'm going to try it again with something else with more pressure and hopefully that'll help. But yeah, just be careful. So this one's done and there's a little image and then we'll have to transfer it. I'm just flipping it through the back making sure I didn't miss anything. We'll have to transfer it onto our heat transfer um, sheet. So let me get all this out the way. Let's do the next one. This one should be a little easier. Hopefully. <laughs> so we have our little images cut out. The first one I'm going to do, let me turn this back on. The first one I'm going to do is, let's do this one. I'm going to grab my sheet. And I'm gonna cut down. It's not sticky, so I don't have to worry about sticking to it. It's sticking to it. But I'm gonna cut down. And then we're gonna cut just a tad over. So we have our little heat transfer tape cut down. So now what we'll do, and let me get my, I have my, my scraper there. We're going to take this off. It's pretty thick. And we're going to lay it over. So I just want to make sure I'm on it. I think that's good. Perfect. And we'll scrape this. Oh, I said I was going to do that one first. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, should be good. Hopefully this turns out good. And then we're going to peel this off and it should come off. And this one I'm going to put on the black shirt. So let's get our black shirt. Okay, so we're going to... I want it right about there. And let me get the um, lint roller. So we want to make sure... So we want to make sure there's no lint or anything on it. I think I could have gone bigger on the image. I'm not gonna use this yet. We're gonna use that on the flock. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. And I'm gonna fold it in half. And I'm just gonna. And I think about there. So there's our middle. I did a small little fold so I can see where my middle is. And I'll go one more time with my lint roller. And I'm also going to press this for about three seconds just to make sure we get all the moisture out. That's good. And we'll lay this 
right there. I hope that's straight. I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, so the heat setting is 340 for 15 seconds and they didn't use Teflon sheet or anything, parchment paper. They didn't use anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it just the way they have it. So here we go, here goes nothing. And it says apply pressure, firm pressure. It says lift right away on the instructions. So, oh, doesn't say if it's one POC. Those are, these are good. This one, not so much. I don't know if I should do it again. Let's try this. I'm just gonna. I think it just looked like it was coming up with the shirt, but I don't know. Cause it stayed on there even after I peeled it when it looked like it was coming up, but it's on there. So this is what I was, I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but it has like a, it kind of looks like it's painted. This one did come up a bit. So I'm gonna do a quick few seconds with just this and see if that'll help it. Yeah, that helped it. Okay, so it's little reindeers. It kind of looks like camouflage, <laughs> but it's little reindeers. I like it. I like how it turned out. So there's our first one. I think it's cute. It looks good, I like this one. Okay, so let's do the next one. Right, so the next one's gonna be the white shirt. And it's the exact same process. Okay, so I've got my shirt folded in half and I'm just gonna I'm not pressing too hard, just lightly to give me that crease. There we go. Okay, so we've got our shirt, same thing. Let's make sure we get all the lint off. Oh, we need to, darn it. I forgot we need to transfer it. There we go. Here's our sheet. Now I'll put this right there just so we can. I cannot see. I don't want to... Okay, so this one's gonna go right there. Perfect. So we got that one set, and again, I'm just gonna go over it. Sure it's all on there. Put this over, same thing. And we're gonna peel this off. The good thing about this is that if you forget to mirror, it doesn't matter. <laughs> because you already, you know, it doesn't have to be mirrored. That's what I liked about it because I tend to forget a lot of times to mirror my stuff. But hopefully, I, I do like the way it turned out. Like I said, I just feel that maybe um, I should apply more pressure when cutting and also the, um, let me move this out the way. The weeding, well, that's why I think it was maybe a problem with the weeding, I don't know. But I'm gonna try next time to do the, to do it with with the, um, with more pressure, see if that helps. All right. <laughs> Just gonna apply a little bit of heat, take out all that moisture. I think that's good. Let me see. 
just holding it up to make sure it's a little crooked I want to get this one perfect <laughs> and we are going to do the same thing 15 seconds 340 and it says apply pressure firmly okay so I did keep it a few seconds after longer I'm gonna go ahead and peel Didn't work. Do it again. This time with the Teflon sheet. All right, so I'm just letting it air out so we can go ahead and take I love the colors. The colors are so pretty. That little rainbow color. That's really cute. All right, so let's try to pull this apart now. Maybe we try from the bottom. I'm going to do it with like I did the other one just to make sure and I'm only going to do it for a few seconds. Just a little bit of pressure. That's good enough. Just to make sure everything stayed. Oh, I love the way this looks. I think that's perfect and it's stuck everything's on there and like I said I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera but it it's like to me it looks like kind of like it's painted you know how they do the um, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about you know screen paint screen printing or I think that's what it's called but that's what it looks like to me it's a little like lifted a little bubbly I mean it feels like vinyl too but I think it gives it a little like effect I don't know if you guys can see that see it with the C and the E I like that because it's not flat like it's I don't know <laughs> I love that that looks so cute okay so there's our second shirt and let's do our final one and this one's gonna be with the flock now with the flock it's gonna be 311 the temperature so I'm gonna change my temperature oh Well, we're putting 310 and then we're doing it's going to be for 15 seconds also also so let's do the same thing that one we don't have to transfer to anything i know it's a it's an it's a i know it's an extra step to have to do that but I, i'm i'm okay with that this one already has the crease in the middle so i'm gonna go by that All right. Let's do the lint. Let me get my lint roller. It fell. Okay. Take off any lint that's on there. And this one. Put it down and actually let me pick it up. I think I went too low. How's that look, you guys? I think that looks good. I love the way it came out. I love that. Okay. So this one's ready. As soon as our heat press is ready, I'm gonna bring it down a bit because that thing, this thing here, I asked my husband to put that on there and now I'm regretting it because it gets in the way a lot. <laughs> but Ikea does not sell another tabletop like this. So I'm stuck. 
with it unless I try to patch it but yeah that wasn't such a bright idea and I didn't do the heat on here I forgot but I don't want to move it anymore so we're just gonna go with that that's a little flatter I'm gonna do it like this because that way that won't be in the way it's almost ready guys it's at 314 right now I don't know if you guys can see it it's ready okay and I'm gonna should I do it like this or with I think I did it with the Teflon the last time that I use this and I'm gonna do it this way and I'm gonna apply some pressure and this one should be easy it didn't give me any trouble when I did it on the totes <laughs> just love the way it feels though Oh, I think this one was a, it's a, it's a warm peel. So we have to wait. So this is a warm peel. Just going to let it cool down for a little bit because it is hot. If you, I wish you guys could feel this and see it in person because the camera does no justice. Oh my God. You guys, this came out so good. So the, I used a maroon, it's like a really dark maroon. It looks black on there, but it's a really dark maroon color. I don't know if y'all can see that. But look at it feels so good. How cute is this? Let me turn these this machine off and set it to the side. But how cute is that? Oh my god. I love it. I absolutely love it. So there you guys have it. We have our fall flock um htv and then we have our bright star crafters which i i love i have no problem like i said maybe just a little apply a little bit more pressure so it won't be so hard to to weed perfectly imperfect and then we have our mama claws which i know it looks kind of camouflaged but it's deers <laughs> with the gray background and it feels actually pretty good all right well that's it you guys this is just a quick video just to show you guys the different you know this new little thing i found the bright star crafting crafters htv and then of course we've done the flock before but i wanted to do it on the on a sweater so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for joining me once again if you guys have any questions about anything please um, post a comment down below i will you know answer you guys as soon as i can and I will link everything that I used here today down in the description below. But thanks again for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified of new videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.